with me day I have been procrastinating I'm almost finished I'm almost finished so what I do share with you is basically finished almost everything but the things I'm gonna have to use in the morning it's all packed sitting in here and I'm gonna share it with you today now I'm gonna be honest with you number one my hair's a mess so I'm um, if this if you have not seen my channel for very long you may not know this but anytime I throw on a headband normally my hair looks like mess so my hair looks like mess today because all I'm doing is packing and I'm not going anywhere hence the no makeup my makeup is packed and everything and I'm still in my pajamas I didn't want to dirty up another pair of clothes because I'm trying to get every single thing washed so that the clothes that we're going to use can be put in the bags. So I'm still in my pajamas. So that's just how we're going to roll for this video. So what am I going to share today? I am going to share with you what I am packing for vacation. So you're going to see all of my bags, including my purse and my laptop bag and all of that. And then I'm going to share with you our family totes that will go on the back of the truck. Now I might give you a little sneak peek of Derek and Kate's luggage. It's really not that fabulous, but I'll show it to you because, um, I let Kate do her own packing and then I just check it afterwards. So she got to pack herself. So if it's a mess, it's hers and that's how she wanted it. So normally in the past, I have done this type of video in different videos and it was more of a sit down formal. Hey, this is what I carry and all of this. And I just wanted to be a little bit more personal than that. That was not as personal. I want to be, feel like that you are with me packing and we're going to have a little conversation with this. So we're just going to do this kind of vlog style. So let me turn my camera around and if it's, if something is not packed, I will tell you what else needs to go in that piece of luggage. Now, in case you are not familiar with where I'm going, my family and I always go to Gulf Shores for a week and we stay in a beach house as a family. So there's like eight of us that go. And so that's why we have so much stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot of cooking this year and there's just a nice amount of things that we have for the actual beach house that's in the totes in the kitchen. So I'm hoping the lighting is going to be okay. I probably need to open the windows in here. Let me do that. And then I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my luggage. Okay, I think that is better. I opened the blinds over here so you could kind of see it was a little bit dark. So let me stand up. I've got everything together. I tried to lay out things that weren't packed yet so you could see what was getting, what else was going to get packed minus the laptop because it is sitting over here. So these are the pieces of luggage and accessories that I will be taking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk you through each one of them kind of quickly. Let's start with my big piece of luggage. If you are curious, this is the Travel Pro luggage. I can't remember the model number. I will link it in the description below. I've had this for three years and I absolutely love it. It is a spinner luggage and I had originally picked out another piece of luggage and my husband liked this one better. So he got this for me for Mother's Day. I want to say three years ago. Okay, so this is the inside of my luggage. So here is the little zip compartment at the top. So I'll share with you. Let me move all this out of the way. Okay. Okay, so let me share with you what I have in here. Now, I will tell you I am a classic overpacker. I don't care where I'm going. I'm going to overpack because you don't know if it's going to be raining. Or are we going to go somewhere nice? Am I going to get in from the beach and just want to throw on a casual... Um, casual little outfit so I have overpacked I've just you know my husband lives with it I live with it it's just gonna happen so I'm taking a shower cap just in case I don't want to wash my hair because our bathtub is actually a shower so there's a shower downstairs and then there's two tubs upstairs so I'm taking a shower cap my Erin Condren robe which I told y'all I absolutely love and is a travel essential so it always goes with me this is a case that I got last year. Here we go. It's called the Giotto. It is for if you want to take pictures in the ocean. This is supposed to be, it's supposed to seal. 
and keep your um, foam from getting wet. So I just, I don't think I even used it last year. It's why it looks brand new, but I'm taking it just in case somebody else wants to use it. My new mini house shoes that I got from Target. And last but not least, my, um, I guess you'd call it my poncho, my pullover, my rain jacket, my anorak, whatever you want to call it. This is a Charles River um, brand. I need to get a new one. It's on my Christmas list. So I will share a video on what I get for Christmas and all that. So I've got a rain jacket, house shoes, a robe. Doing this one-handed is really not easy. My shower cap and my little uh, waterproof phone case. And y'all, my phone still has an OtterBox on it. And that's the thing I'm thinking last year why I did not use that is because I think somebody said I had to take my phone out of the OtterBox and that was not happening. Okay, now to over here. Now you guys know I use the Eagle Creek packet cubes for everything. Anytime I travel, I have realized that I'm one short, so I'm going to have to order one more of those because you'll see in just a minute. Okay, my hat. I got this last year from Target. I absolutely love it. It is, it does not say what it is. I don't know if it's available still. If it is, I'll link it below. And then here, this is my Eagle Creek. Let me move, let me move it over here. This is my Eagle Creek like little folding packet system. I don't know what they call it, but this is where all my shirts are. And when I say I overpack, this is my overpacking. I'm taking all of those shirts. I've got some nice shirts, some beach shirts, some if we go out to dinner top shirts, some bummy top shirts. All of those are in here. And I didn't roll. Sometimes I roll. Sometimes I don't roll my clothes. I didn't this time. I think I just did that wrong. Lord, y'all, I did this. I can't tell you how many times earlier I got this straight backwards. Okay. So, this is next. This is where I ran out of the... Eagle Creek packet cubes. I probably need one more this size here. So this right here, it may, <laughs> this is my embarrassing packet cube because it contains all of my pajamas. Here's the thing with me and pajamas. I am a classic cold person. So I bundle up when I sleep. So I've got leggings and t-shirts and a few sweatshirts in here. I'm not even ashamed to say that. Everybody makes fun of me. It's okay. Okay, and this is the Erin Condren reusable bag. I'm using it as my last packet cube. So this has all of my shorts and leggings in here. If you can kind of see, I've got them all folded in there. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. They're Under Armour shorts and um, Zella leggings. And I have some um, American Eagle denim shorts. Let's see, here we go. I've got my socks in here and I sleep in socks at nighttime. I've got this thing and I have house shoes too. I've got this thing about I have to have socks on my feet when I sleep. So they are in the little quarter cube. I didn't share the quarter cube on the um, travel essentials video, but I do use it for socks when I use it. Um, next, this is, I wanna say this is the half cube. This has my bras and my panties in it. Oh, and it's got something on it. I need to clean that off okay and the uh, no it's not i've got two more this one here has all of my tank tops in it and then the last one here has all of my bathing suits and my cover-up so i have got one um old navy little cover-up dress thing and then i have some other little tops in there that i use as cover-ups and then the last bits in here, in the side little compartment over here, I just have some headbands. You know, just in case my hair looks like crap like it does right now. My Birkenstocks, my Sanook flip-flops that I'll use for the beach, and then I have my um, Chacos that'll go in here. I'm going to wear one pair, and then I'll put one pair in here. Okay, that's what happens when, you, when you're when you trying to hold the camera in one hand and then pack in the other. So now I had to move some things sideways. If you can see, let me show you. You can see them. Some of them are sideways. They're not flat on the bottom. 
and now it's going to shut. So that is my piece of luggage and now we are going to move to my little extra bags. Okay, we are going to start with what you see in front of me. Now this is not fully packed because I will put the other things in here in the morning. But this is my lug trolley. This is going to be the first time that I'm using it. And I'm basically using it as my walking pharmacy. Uh, it's going to go inside of my luggage so it will fit. I will make sure it fits. So it is in the fireworks print. I love y'all there are so many little compartments look there's a compartment on two sides each side has a compartment there's a compartment on the front and there's a compartment on the back and here's the best thing about it look it's got the clear little thing in the bottom so if you sit it on the counter the fabric's not going to get ruined because it has a little liner so all of my medication and personal care items are in here I do take a lot of supplements and things every single day so that's what I have in here. So the sides, I don't really have any anything in there. Okay, so the side over here, the only thing I have is just some like Neosporin in there. That's the only thing I have in the side. I was gonna put some tampons in the side, but I had too many and it was making it bulky. So in the back here, in this back compartment, there's nothing. It looks just identical to this. So in here, I've got some of my feminine products. I've got panty lighters and tampons in here. And that's it for that little front compartment. Let me show you the back compartment. And look, here's the best thing. So when I sit my luggage up, this can actually slide on top of it. Like so. And y'all, this comes in many different prints too. This was the one I liked the best when it was available. I really wanted the black confetti, but it was not available. So we've got this right here. I guess I could put my band-aids and stuff in here. That's what I might do. I bought, I purchased some band-aids in case some of the kids need a band-aid. I need to do that. My sister got all the other things. Okay, now for the main compartment. I don't have everything in here yet, so I'll put my Zoloft and my thyroid medicine in here in the morning and then probably some Tylenol so I've got some pads y'all saw the panty liners I've actually got a little yeast infection kit in there y'all no I don't have a yeast infection but considering I am going to be at, at a place I'm normally not at I wanted to have that just in case you know new environment and all that so I'm taking that all of my care of vitamin packs in here for every single day and then i just purchased these these are charcoal tablets and i'm taking these and i probably need to get the vinegar together in case i accidentally eat gluten i have these to try to absorb the gluten in my stomach before i have any side effects so I've heard good things about it. So that's why I have it. So you guys, that is my little medication, my walking pharmacy. And after tomorrow, it'll have my thyroid medicine, my allergy medicine, and my Zoloft in here. So I absolutely love this. I highly recommend this little trolley case from Lug. Next up is my hygiene and beauty caddy. Now this, y'all have probably seen if you've been here for a while, it is actually a crafting caddy. And it is from Everything Mary. I think I paid $29.99 for it on Amazon. If I can still find it, I will link it below. But they sell these in like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and all that. And I just had the idea to make it into my hygiene caddy. Because I do, when we go on family vacations, there's four of us using these supplies. A lot of them. So y'all, the little small little cosmetic things are just not going to work when you have a family of four. So, if it was just me, and if we ever do a airplane travel, this will be different. I would not be carrying this. So, this is, remember, road trip traveling. Okay, nothing's in here, but look, they've got this little pocket in case you are interested in using that. We're going to do the side first. The side over here, I have, I think there's nail, nail clippers over here. Never know when you're going to get a hangnail. Razors. This is my little tinkle facial razor that I use. Um, tweezers 
can't go anywhere without those things this is the little pocket here the little zipper pocket this is amazing i need to go through here and, and check to see if i need to add more q-tips and things so this is where i keep all my bobby pins my q-tips i got dental floss in there my rubber bands um hair ties I need to go through here and clean this out because it hasn't been cleaned out since we went on our last cheer trip. Okay, then this side here, the last one, this just has all of my makeup brushes and the things that I use for putting on my makeup. And now we'll go to the inside. The inside has three, well, it really doesn't have three. It's got two pockets one large pocket and then two pockets here so there's a few more things that will go in here and in my luggage so in my piece of luggage over here i've got to wash my hair tonight so my blow dryer and my flat iron will also go in here and then i have one this is the shampoo and then conditioner will go in here so i've got my cleansing oil my brightening scrub my mousse my face soap which y'all, they did not have when I went to Walmart, the African black soap. So I'm going to try this. I checked the reviews and it was pretty good. Yes to tomatoes, activated charcoal bar soap. I have hair, t hair claws that I use to put my hair up when I'm doing my makeup and when I'm in the bathtub. Uh, my makeup all fits in here. Yes, I have a minimalist type of makeup, I feel like. I, do, I wear the same things every day, and I probably won't even wear makeup during this vacation. I normally don't. Um, shampoo, and then the conditioner is in the tub. And y'all, I'm taking this only because I need the nude color in here for my eyeshadow. Um, cotton rounds. My Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, my deodorant, my toothpaste, which is the Colgate Sensitive that I've mentioned, and some facial wipes. And you guys, that is all for this. So the only other thing that will get placed in here will be, I think my husband will carry his bar soap. So my toothbrush and conditioner, I think, is the only two things that I'm missing in here. So it's got a handle. It's really nice. It does tend to get a little heavy, but it's so much easier just carrying one big thing than two or three small things. Now we are to what I'm gonna call the extras. There we go. I'm trying to make it the ISO so it's not so bright. There we go. Okay, now we are to what I'm considering the extras. The things that I travel with that help me for my YouTube channel and um, Instagram and all of that. So it's my personal type items. So the first thing that we will start with is my backpack. Now my backpack is important because it carries my laptop. I will be working on my trip. By the time you see this, I've already been on vacation. But during vacation... So go back and check these videos if you've not checked them yet. During vacation, I'll be posting four videos. Of those four videos, three of them have giveaways attached. So every morning, I will get up on the days that those go live and I'll make sure they look okay. I will check, make sure all of my links are good, make sure the giveaway is ready to go. So I need my backpack for that. So nothing's up here except from cough drops. Um, let's see. And the laptop is not in here yet because we're still using it. Plus, my husband is taking master's classes, so he will have to use the laptop for schoolwork. I have my external hard drive in here. I've got my home cube with all of my pins and things. If you've not seen this video, I will link it below. Also, I'm not traveling anywhere without pin gems. So, in here, um, let me show you what I have. Pin gems wise. I always carry a few pin gems with me for pictures. So, if you can tell, this is a 4th of July trip because I've got all of my 4th of July themed pins in here in case I want to take a picture with them. And then I have the air airbrush collection in here as well, if my camera will zoom in. There we go. And then I have my airbrush collection in here as well in case I want to snap some pictures of that since that is the new release. Then we have my Polaroid zip is in here. So I have to put pictures in my planner at least twice while I am there. And I think that's it. So that's it for this compartment. So I have my pin gems 
I've got my Polaroid zip, if my pen gems will sit up straight, my external hard drive, and then my home cube full of all of my pens and little sticky notes and all that. And then the main compartment. So my laptop will go back here. Then I always carry a mouse pad because you guys, I cannot tell you how many times that we've been to a hotel or something and the desk was just not good and I needed a mouse pad. So I've started carrying my Aaron Condren mouse pad. So I have started carrying my Aaron Condren mouse pad anytime we go anywhere. So that actually just stays in my backpack at all times. I have a, um, an accordion file full of stickers. This basically has my labeling type stickers if I need to go in and make an adjustment. In case I want to go and make an adjustment and change a video topic for a certain day, I've got labels and half boxes in here to do that. I think I'm going to have to purchase some more of these because I am running low. So... I like to just have stickers in there because I don't want to... And here's the thing with me. Lord, if I can get this shut. Here's the thing with me. If I have a change to my editorial calendar, I want to do it right then. I don't want to wait a week and do it and maybe forget about it when I come home. So that's why I usually, if I travel for an extended amount of time, I will take stickers with me. Then... Two magazines. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty. They ju this just came in, so I thought this would be good to look at or my mom to look at while we're riding. And then the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. So I'm taking this. I was kind of bummed at what was in here. There was not a lot in here. I'm hoping there's more on the internet because I had planned on sharing a video over that. And like maybe one or two of my favorites that I usually look at every year was in here and that was it. So I'm hoping when I look on the internet, once that opens to card holders, I will find more. And then this. So I've got two of these carry-all clutches that will go with me. This one, which I have sitting over here, y'all, I'm still using my planner and stuff for today. So my planner and my deluxe monthly planner, I haven't switched over yet. So probably by the time you're seeing this video, I've probably started the switching over process. But until I do that, I need to keep up with this so I'll know what to move over. So my deluxe monthly, which is my budget planner and my life planner both go with me and they will go in this right here for the trip. So they're not packed yet because they won't get packed. They'll be one of the last things to get packed and moved into the backpack. And then here, I'm sorry if this video gets really long. I'm just trying to make sure I share in detail. And I like packing type of videos. I like to watch packing videos on YouTube. So, I hope you do too. Now we are to my little extras. Um, Aaron Condren clutch. And it has my Aaron Condren notebook in it. Basically, this is my brain dump for my channel. This little extra notebook in case I need one. This is one of my Pen Gems notebooks. Then all of this. I've got a little notepad here, a little sticky note, post-it note. I have mentioned this before just to kind of jot some things down if I need to. This is my cheer um, financial register, and then this is for my brand. So I just wanted to make sure I had those just in case I need to look and see how much I had on each one. So all of that is going inside of this Aaron Condren clutch. And you guys, besides my laptop, that is all that's going to go in there. Now, this right here, I, I've sat it over here. It's not, it's not put together how I'm going to have it, but I have it sitting over here because it is going to be what I carry my vlogging camera in. So right now, I just have some, like my little, I've got some little extra stuff in there right now. But this is what I will carry with my vlogging camera. And that is my R Riveter um, zipper clutch. And I love it. I have been using it this past week. And it is the perfect size to just grab and go. Okay, I had to go and get it off the table. Okay, for my purse, I will be carrying my new hobby, R Riveter hobby. And this is in the Colonial Blue. This will be my first time using it, so I'm excited. 
when you open it up there's two little front pockets right here i have y'all can probably already guess i have my hand sanitizer my grove hand sanitizer and my favorite cake batter chapstick in here my iso is messing up there we go so I've got two of the little cake batter chapsticks in there because I don't want to run out of those. Then over here, I've just got a highlighter and two pins just so I can get to them easy. And my blueberry muffin Laura Bar. And then inside here, this is what it looks like. I have, this is what I've been using for my little wristlet. This is my Coach Mickey wristlet. So I just shove all my cards in here, driver's license. My checkbook register, which is the Pen Gems notebook that I've mentioned. It's my favorite. My Clutch and Clean Mickey themed. Mickey Mini themed. Okay. Then next, this is a pencil pouch from Bando. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's the name right there. And excuse Armani. He's snorting again. So I carry this. This is basically my little power banks pouch. So everything I need for my power bank is in here. This one-handed stuff's not easy. Okay, so I've got my power bank. It's fully charged. I have the cord to charge it. And then I have a little plug, a wall plug, so that I can charge it. And then I will probably go ahead and put one of my charging cords for my iPhone in here as well. And then, is that it? And that's it. So inside of here, I have my Clutch and Clean, my Aaron, my Aaron Conchern, my Pen Gems notebook that I use for my checkbook register, my power bank pouch. If you can notice, everything I have is normally in a pouch. And then my little wallet or wristlet. So that is what's going to go in here. And then when we're out and about, I will carry this that will have my vlogging camera and accessories inside of it. So you guys, that is all for my luggage. So now I'm going to take you into the kitchen and I'm going to share with you what's in our large totes. Okay, now we are in the kitchen and I'm going to show you what we have packed for the back of the truck. And I will share with you too. Before I get to that, let me share with you this right here. Let me move my husband's clothes. This is what will go on the back of my husband's truck. It is a cargo carrier. So for the cargo carrier, we're, carrier we have four boxes. So these were purchased from Home Depot. I don't know. Yeah, there's the size. They are the 27 gallon tough totes. And if you keep your eye on them, they do go on sale. Cause I want to say that these were like maybe $7.99 a piece. So there are four of them. We only have three of them filled. And my husband said this one right here, he said he was probably just going to put his suitcase in it because we have to carry it. So it's level. So, I think he's going to just put his luggage in there. So, we're going to go through each one. So, starting with this one back here. We always buy new towels and washcloths for the beach house. Because then, when we get home, we just use those for our bathroom. We kind of It's a good way to rotate our towels out. So, these came from Dollar General. And, y'all, we got like 8 or 10 towels plus 10 washcloths for under $50. So, it was not much at all. Playing cards. My husband got playing cards. We've got straws for the kids. These little things are the coolest things. They are, I forgot the name of them. Oh, Surfer Dudes. Both of my kids have one and then my nephew has one. So Kate has the pink one and then Derek has this purple and green one. And my nephew, I think he has the blue one. Then I've got the laundry detergent and y'all this is the laundry detergent that I like. I ordered this one for myself. It is the beach sage but I decided I didn't want to use it so I just saved it to use for vacation. And I put this little plastic bag underneath the cap so it wouldn't leak out just in case. Dryer sheets, the uh, method dryer sheets that I like in the beach sage. Um, sweet and low, y'all know I always travel with sweet and low because lots of places just don't have it. 
sunscreen and y'all i know sun spray sunscreen's not great this is a full tube and then we'll buy more when we get there these little lanterns they are energizer that the kids use on the beach when we go crabbing at nighttime. And then I have a package of the gluten-free flour. I learned last year not to depend on the stores near our beach house to have gluten-free items. Because last year they did not have a lot or they did not have what I eat on a regular basis. So I said I was going to do things differently this time. So that's how what's all in that tote. In this tote here, this is our beach bag, came from Target. This is our little cooler that I got from 31 Gifts about five years ago. We've got beach towels down here. Each person just has one this time. These little Dentec, these are my, mine and my husband's favorite dental floss sticks. Extra wipes for my clutch and clean. We have toilet paper down here. <laughs> we can, here's what we do with our beach house. We divide out all of the supplies. So I have to, we have to bring things. My sister's family brings things. My mom brings things. So everybody brings toilet paper because you can't ever have enough toilet paper. So my sister's going to make banana pudding. So she's gonna make one gluten-free for me and then one regular for everybody else. So I'm taking these vanilla wafers for mine. Then she's also gonna make, I think, um, fettuccine Alfredo one night. So I'm taking these noodles for mine. Then I went ahead and got this from Walmart. I told y'all I wanted to get a pop-up mesh hamper and this one was like $2.99 from Walmart. So I'm like, okay, let's get it still. And then my breakfast bars. So I told, this was the one thing last year that I get there and I'm like, they don't have my breakfast bars. What am I gonna do? So I had to eat something every day for breakfast that I did not like. So I'm taking three boxes. I've got one box of peanut butter and then I've got two boxes of the almond butter. So that is what is in here. And then in addition to what is in here, my mom has some things like she's got, um, the dish soap and paper plates and paper towels, I think. So her things will also be, go in here as well. Last but not least, this is our beach wagon. If you are looking for a good beach wagon, I highly recommend this one. I will leave that link in the description below. We got it from Amazon. I don't make any money from anything that I that you purchase from Amazon. It's something about the state of Arkansas does not allow it. So any links that are Amazon related are not affiliate links. Okay, then down here we've got our our little bag of beach toys for the kids, Lysol wipes, and dishwashing detergent. And these are the things here. Oh, crap. Oops. Excuse me, that just dropped. Okay, and then the, all of that for some band-aids. So these band-aids I'm actually going to put in uh, my... Um, in my little personal um, walking pharmacy. So I'm gonna put those over here to do. So the last thing I wanna share with you is before I just give you a little clip, a little inside peek at the kids' suitcases are these little things right here. So what we have here, these are the things that are gonna go up front, okay? Coffee creamer, y'all, we don't travel anywhere. So we're gonna be at a hotel for one night. We're gonna travel halfway and then we'll travel the rest of the way the next day. And I'm not gonna say that the hotel is gonna have good coffee creamer. So we always take, and y'all, this is not our favorite, but we always just take it so it's not that chalk mess. So each one of my kids has a few snacks in here. Each one of them have a thing of goldfish. Each one of them has a box of chicken and biscuits. Chicken in a biscuit, excuse me. Because you got to get them the same thing or they'll fight. Can y'all relate to that? Then I have, these are for me. I have never tried these, um, this kind right here. I usually get the um, cookie dough or the blueberry muffin. They had almond butter chocolate chip. So I thought, what the heck, let's try it. So I got these for myself, and then I got these for everybody. 
I um, saw Love Meg recommend these and I had I've been eyeing them and then I saw that she mentioned them and I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so I got these and then I've got the trays that I mentioned for the kids. We just finished this ice cream bucket last week, so I thought that would be good in case Kate needed to get car sick and then some extra bags. And these are Derek and Kate suitcases. They are both the American Tourister if I can say that, luggage. I got them at the same time online. Y'all, this is what Derek's, the inside of Derek's looks like. I mean, nothing fancy. He just has all of his stuff in different piles. I put all of that in there yesterday. His swimsuits, tops, pajamas, shoes, and shorts. And then Kate's, which she's not finished with. Hers is kind of all over the place at the moment. She's still organizing all of hers and all the shoes at the top. And then she has her piece of her little backpack there that she's putting all of her little extra things that she wants to take. So you guys, that is all for their pieces of luggage. And you guys, that is all for my packing for this vacation. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my pieces of luggage and what I'm taking in each one. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you click that little red subscribe button below to become a part of this YouTube community. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.